Okay. Here we are. See if I have this cable long enough. Ah. Oh, I see I need to adjust this here. There we are. Now it's too high, but let's see. Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date it is December 1st of 2016. And I have I didn't bring the box with me. Well, we'll take we'll move in there in a minute. I've got a uh, just received it. Well, I received two things today. I received an echo dot. Let's see if we can, it's in the other room, see if you can hear it or not. Uh, Alexa, what time is it? The time is 5.15 p.m. I think you heard it because I can see the uh, graph on my screen. Not very well because I need my glasses to see that far. Uh, so I got the echo today. Let's see, yesterday I didn't accomplish very much. I haven't accomplished very much today. I uh, got the Echo Dot, hooked it up using my uh, Amazon Fire tablet. In fact, I hadn't turned it on in a week or maybe two weeks. I turned it on yesterday and it said, Oop, we've put the Amazon Echo app on here for you. So I used that. It was very easy to set up. I'll take it. You've seen it, but I'll take it in there and show it to you. Uh, so then I got this microphone. Now this Lavier. Uh, Lavalier. Lavalier microphone. Uh, I've been looking, since I made a uh, video or two with this camera a while back, I realized, well I knew before that, that I needed a microphone to plug into it. And so I looked on YouTube and searches and people were saying, you know, here's one for $500, here's one for 250 and somebody said, here's one for 75 you know, so I was thinking I might have to get one for 50 or $75 and see how it worked. And then I saw a YouTube video where uh, the guy said this one for 20 bucks. So this is a test. Now I'm not sure that I have, because I have camera adjustments for the microphone and I, I don't know if I got them set right or not. But with my Panasonic LZ 300. I can see the bar graph. I don't see any red right now. I think I did in the very beginning because <clears throat> maybe I was talking yeah, too loud. So I may need to uh, adjust that. So what's been going on? Um, December 1st. I don't want to get into politics very much, but I do want to I do want to comment on something. Uh, I think that the way the Republican Party, well, we could go back to the Clinton times. Let's just go back to Obama. To his first, from the for, from the very beginning when Obama was elected, I think that the Republicans were un-American in the way they did. Ever they decided that. They were going to give him absolutely nothing. They wanted him to be a, not re-elected. They wanted his term, four-year term, to be a disaster. They wanted things to be bad, nothing good, because they wanted him destroyed, and uh, they did not want him to win a second term. Of course, he won a second term. I think they were un-American. I think it was almost like a terrorist organization. They wanted to, you know bring down the President of the United States and they didn't care what effect that had by them not passing any legislation 
by not doing cooperating in any way, they didn't care what the outcome was. I think it's treason. I know it doesn't measure up to the standards for prosecution for treason, but I think it amounted to treason on their part, on the Republican Party's part. What they did was really, now we have a Republican elected, uh, President-elect Donald Trump, the worst candidate that the Republican and the Republican Party had some bad candidates, and he was he was the worst of the worst. Uh, he lies. He does. He's wouldn't release his tax return. He it looks like he's going to operate his business out of the White House. Uh, but I think what the, and I think that's, well, a lot of, you know, I didn't think, I didn't think that uh, Donald Trump would really want to be president. I didn't really think he would run. I didn't think the Republican Party would pick him. I didn't think the American voters would vote for him. I mean, I've been wrong, 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 wrong. But, uh, and so, I mean, everything he stands for <clears throat> goes against everything my entire life. Uh, I do not think, however, that the Democrat, well, the Democrats don't, <laughs> you know, they don't have the presidency. They don't have the House of Representatives, they don't have the Senate, they don't have most, most of the states are uh, governors are Republican, most of the state legislatures are Republican. The Democrats have very little power. Uh, don't even have enough that they can do things like Republicans have done in the past of even when they didn't uh, control say the Senate or something that they could block things. Democrats have very little power. But I don't want to see the Democrats do, because I just said that what the Republicans did was un-American treasonous, in my opinion, the way they behaved. Um, I don't want to see the, the, the Democratic Party do that. I want to see them to try to be the loyal opposition. I want them to uh, try to work with uh, President Trump when they can. Uh, this, like the Republicans refusing to, you know, to consider, to even vote on replacing a United States Supreme Court vacancy. That's, I mean, it's unbelievable. It's just not never happened in the history of the United States. Uh, I don't want to see, of course, again, the Democrats don't have the power to do it, but I don't want to see the Democrats doing those kind of things. But on the hearings that are coming up, Senate hearings and House hearings, on nominees and uh, for whatever position where they have to be approved or whatever, I do want the Democrats to pull out all the stops, uh, vent them, I mean really, really uh, bring up the tough questions. Uh, you know, they got, why well, do I want to go through each one of the, the, the I mean, ask tough questions. Uh, bring up all you know these things that they have that they've said or done or position they took up bring up those and of course the Democrats don't have the the power to stop uh, these people but bring up you know be heard let's bring it up let's find out and then when they are approved which they will be you know, let's get on with doing the business of the country. Uh, Democrats should still, of course, you know, stand behind their principles uh, 
and uh, try to protect the workers and the elderly and the sick and the children and do all those things, but let's not be saboteurs. Let's not do what the Republicans did, because that's not American, that's un-American. If Donald Trump fails, that's not good. For, if the President of the United States fails, that's not good for the country. That's not good for, our, for, our, for, us, for the citizens of the country. But you don't give the President, you know, I mean, torture or enhanced interrogation. Uh, those are crimes. I don't care what anybody in the Bush administration says. I go with John McCain. John McCain, and it's one that, you know, he is, he was a prisoner of war for five years. He served in the military. He knows, and he has said, things like that, the Democratic Party needs to stand up on, on important issues. But not, and the Democrats wouldn't do that because the Democrats don't, don't have the guts to do the kind of things the Republicans would, I mean, would do. They're not, not that, uh, I don't want to make this into a Republican bashing thing. Didn't really intend to do that. I just wanted to express. Let's go take a look at, uh, I'll put a link, by the way, to this, uh, well, well, we'll see how it works. I'll put a link anyway, whether, and, uh, so, let me remove this from the stand here, and hope that I, uh, that my microphone now doesn't, cord doesn't get, a, a wireless one would be nice, but I'm sure those, so, I hooked up the uh, echo. The echo comes with, you know, speakers, small speakers. But I hooked up this external speaker. The only thing I'm worried about uh, are the. Uh, I think this speaker and a couple others that I have like this Bluetooth. It's not using Bluetooth, by the way, but I've just got it wired in. But uh, I think they tend to shut down if there's no activity or something. So uh, I'm seeing a little bit of red on this microphone now that I got it. So. Uh, but anyway, I hooked it up. Let's ask, uh, see. Alexa, what time is it? It's 5.27 p.m. So with this speaker, um, it gives it some good volume. But of course, you know, it does have speakers in it, but I guess they're not. Uh, what else did I want to show you? Oh, here it is. Let's see. I will see if I can zoom in here a little bit. I will uh, put a link to this below. Like I said, it's twenty dollars. I don't want to judge it too much by uh, this recording because I, I this is the first one using it, and I'm not sure that I have. everything set the way I should. I think I have the volume cranked up too much on it. The one thing I did notice with uh, it uses a one of those buttons batteries like to go in watches and stuff. Um, I noticed on the microphone input here, that when I put the microphone all the way in, it's too far. So it has to back out a little bit, but I think I have adapters around here for that where I can plug this microphone jack into an adapter that will make it fit just right. Because I could see with it sticking a little bit out, I could see that uh, I might... Uh, accidentally hit it or something. So I think that takes care of it. Uh, I will put a link uh, to this 
microphone. Let me know what you think, and uh, have a good day.